Listen, guys, I'm hungry, so it's about time we get this plated up. Jets fans know how to cook. Yeah. That's that's true to my heart right there. Oh, yeah! That's the true sizzle reel. Welcome to another episode of Tailgate Center with Nick Mangle, presented by Cutwater Spirits. The New York Jets play the Las Vegas Raiders. And what in the world do we have here, Nick? So you think of Vegas, you think of the buffet. And so what I decided to do, because we're tailgating, we're living the dream, uh, we got our burgers working right now, I wanted to do a burger buffet. Ooh. So you have pretzel buns or potato buns, choose your own adventure. We have fried eggs, we have macaroni and cheese, we have sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions, fresh jalapenos, pickles, raw onions, tomatoes, lettuce, bacon, Canadian bacon for our friends up north, uh, pulled pork, American cheese, provolone, uh, pepper jack, cheddar, and every condiment you could ever want to go onto a burger. So it truly is a buffet spread for a burger. All right, so what do I need to do? I need you to pick a bun and pick a cheese. So I'm going to go with a pretzel bun and pepper jack cheese, because I like a little kick, and I see different options that can help with a little kick. I like that. All right, so let's get that going for you. And what are you going to choose? Ooh, I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. I got yours on there. Let me get your, you said pepper jack. I did say pepper jack. That is good. That's a great choice. Thank you. You're obviously very well-rounded. Your parents <laughs> did a fantastic yeah, job. What does someone's cheese selection say about them? I have absolutely no clue. Okay. You know, well, it's it looks just like you're it's going cheese. Jack or I'm going double. Oh yeah, you do, you always double up the slices yeah, of some, cheese. Some, some people don't right? do that. Yeah, I'm gonna follow your lead with the pretzel bun. Okay. So we're gonna get that on there, and um, cheese. What what do you think? What, what, what am I feeling? I don't well, know. Well, I don't know. I know you like spicy a little bit, don't you? I do. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm doing one slice of the pepper jack. Wow, this is, this is a veteran move. All right, I'm going to do that because I don't know what's coming down the pike on my toppings. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. So, so I'm going to add a little cheddar. Cheddar. Yeah, I'm going to do a blend. Okay. All right, so we got that. Throw that down. I didn't know that was an option, but I don't think I would have chosen any differently. Listen, it's a buffet. Everything's an option. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. Right? So are, are you going to just try to make your own individual nice burger, like something that goes together, or it's just going to be like a true buffet and be a true melting pot on top? of a patty. No, it's going to be a true melting pot. I think I might do one of each just because like of it's everything. a buffet. Yeah, one of everything. Why yeah. not? Uh, it's going to get wild around here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's for sure. I, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I don't know what I want, but I know that it's going to be a fun time. Of course. That's all we do around here is have fun. Okay, so we're having fun out here. We're tailgating. So let's hear from another Jets player on their tailgate experience. Um, you know, we got to have some pool court. We gotta have some ribs on the grill, some burgers on the grill, some dogs on the grill. I don't think there would be anything that I would say that you can't have at a tailgate. Let's go, boys! It's game time! You take care of business and show them what you're made of! Woo! Let's go, guys! This is what we are in fun! Get real, get live! It's football time! Give it your all! Come on, let's get psyched! Let's do this! Let's go, Jets! We got this! J E E F Jets! Every week, as you guys know, we like to highlight a New York Jets fan. Here's who we have this week. This view never gets old. This is a one of a kind. Nobody else in the world has one. Sequin and beaded Jets shirt. It's one of my great prides and joy. It was a gift to me from my friend Diane, whose brother gifted me his Jets tickets, whose dad gifted him his Jets tickets, tickets that were originally for the Titans and the Polo Grams. I think I'll wear this. So 
let me introduce you to the real tailgate aficionados here in my kitchen. Matt Laporte and Bruno. How are you? These are the guys who really make the magic happen at tailgates. So I'm wearing my Jets apron because I get, don't get to wear it too often. When we go to games, they do all the cooking. I just stay out of the way. Thank you so much for joining me, Phyllis. Uh, it is a pleasure to have you. Um, I I'm super excited to get your story and uh, to hear a little bit about your fandom. Absolutely. My Jets tickets go all the way back to the Titans and the Polo Grounds. My college roommate's dad bought tickets and then he passed them on to his son and his son passed them on to me when you all moved out to New Jersey. So we, these tickets have been with us for a very long time. You've seen the highs and the lows then, huh? We have seen the highs and we have seen the lows and we have been there for all of them. And it's appreciated for being there. I assume if, uh, if you started out way back when in the Titans um, and all the way through, there's probably been a little bit of tailgating going on when you're at the games? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a good assumption. We have a, a heck of a tailgating group. We do theme cooking. So when the Dolphins okay. come, we have Mahi Mahi. When the New England gang comes, we've been known to have entire New England clam bakes. You know, you've got to kind of tie it all in together. Now, uh, since you know we've been stuck at home during this crazy year, um, are, are you still carrying on the tradition of the home gating, um, or you keep it a little bit kind of low key? Low key? No low key. Absolutely not. The good news is here in the building where I live, I have Jets fans. I have my pal who drives me to and from the games, who's part of our tailgating group. So I join Matt and his home with his lovely family and his really big TV screen. And we tailgate there and watch the games from there. And it's, a, it's terrific. <laughs> Do you still try to keep it themed uh, each week? There are traditions that we keep. There are themes. We've done Ortega tortilla shells to make tacos. We have all kinds of taco days that we have. There are kids, so tacos go over very well. And Matt is a big steak guy, so we also have those fabulous Weber spices that we can use for his his tailgating, whether we're tailgating steak in the, in the parking lot or we're tailgating steak here. Awesome, well I really appreciate you giving us a taste of your tailgate there. And uh, you know, Phyllis, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to talk with us. Uh, spend a little time, open your home up, uh, those beautiful views of New York City. Um, so thank you very much and I appreciate it. And uh, let's go Jets. Let's go Jets. Fans, keep submitting those photos for the Together Like Never Before campaign. This is where you can see them, right here on Tailgate Center with Nick Mangold. Nick, we've both developed very interesting burgers, probably ones that you could only find at a buffet which is why we have the burger buffet. But what did you decide to go with and why? I mean, I went with everything. So if it was on the plates ready to go, I went with it. I did skip the tomato. I'm not a big tomato guy. Me neither. But are you excited about the burger? Oh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to dig into it. It's going to be, um, I've never done a buffet burger um, where I've had everything available to me at one time. <laughs> me neither. So I'm very intrigued to see how it comes out. So I went with the spicy side, like mm -hmm. sweet and spicy. We kicked things off with the pepper jack. We saw that. I went for the jalapeno and the pickle. I figured the pickle would be a little sweet, jalapeno a little spicy. The barbecue sauce, your barbecue sauce, a little sweet and spicy. You know, so I figured that that was kind of the theme. I figured the pulled pork would be sweet. And I'm excited about it. You know, I think it'll be a little messy. It's going to be messy. Like, we just have to accept that fact. You know, I, I was wondering this. I'm curious, a little tailgate tip. When you put the burgers on, I noticed that you almost had an indent, like a thumbprint indent in the middle of the burger. Why did you do that? So uh, I learned that trick a long time ago from a good friend, Rachel Ray, name drop, ding. Um, <laughs> she indents the burgers because as they cook, they kind of expand. And if you don't do that, uh, you end up with like this meatball burger where it just becomes- Like an uneven patty. Yeah, it's not a great patty. So when you're doing a thick burger, you want to have that indent. Um, so that way, you know, as it expands, it comes out to an even patty and you get a delicious burger. We're going to dig in, right? That's. What I hope so. I'm rolling can up can the we sleeves. Go? Yeah, right. I'm rolling up the sleeves because this is going to be messy. Let's right. do this. Okay. It's juicy. It's delicious. Yeah. I don't even know. All right. Here we're we doing this.
first thing that comes to my mind, have you ever, you've seen Anchorman before? Mm -hmm. You know, when he's like, I'm in a glass case full of emotion. What that is, but with different flavor, I'm in a glass case full of flavor right now. There's so many flavors going on in this, and it is just so perfectly buffet. Like, <laughs> there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. Like, you go through a buffet, and you, you see everything that's around, then you throw everything on your plate. That burger is the epitome of a buffet. That was another episode of Tailgate Center with Nick Mangle, presented by Gutwater Spirits.